Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. My name is Brett and yes, we're doing a full review on the Aprilia SR GT125. Now it was announced late last year at ICMA and we've been waiting a while now for a 125 Euro 5 efficient from Aprilia and I think it's been worth the wait. We've got an absolute stunner. Now it's quite different to everything else on the market because we've got this kind of crossover adventure scooter theme going on but with Aprilia's own kind of sportiness thrown in as well. So I think overall it looks terrific and gives something completely different on the market. And as I say, it is Euro 5 compliant and it is using Piaggio's I Get Motor from the Medley, which we'll talk about later on in the video. But as things start, it's very impressive indeed for the SR GT125. When it comes to the styling on the SR GT125, I absolutely love it. I think it's a terrific looking scooter and quite different from everything else on the market at the moment but you can clearly see it's jumping on that crossover adventure scooter theme. But I, for one, really am enjoying it because Aprilia are doing it in their own way because we've got plenty of kind of typical Aprilia Italian sporty styling to it. So if we start off with the front of the bike, we've got this very kind of off-road adventure-like windscreen at the top, which gives adequate protection for, for a standard windscreen. Then going down to this aggressive, adventurous, sporty front fairing with LED lights and beak, then onto the long travel suspension. And then we've got this mud guard with carbon fiber look. And that carbon fiber look runs all over this bike and actually works quite nicely. It doesn't look too cheap a finish. When we get back, the handlebars are naked and relatively wide. We've got a large negative LCD screen. Then we've got on the foot plate, the tunnel where the fuel is stored, working onto a nice stylish yet comfortable seat. Then the side panels going onto the rear of the bike is really nicely styled and we've got LED lights to the rear as well. So overall, I think it's fair to say the SR GT125 looks quite different from everything else in the market in very much a good way. Now a great thing about the SR GT125 is that it uses the same 125cc single cylinder I get four stroke four valve engine from the Piaggio Medley. So yeah, it kicks out 14.7 brake horsepower and 12 newton meters of torque which is the max you can get from a 125cc scooter. So it's terrific numbers there, and it accelerates really nicely, but very smoothly too. And you'll attain a top speed of 70 miles an hour. Kind of everyday top speed will probably fluctuate between kind of 67, 69, but the odd day you will hit 70. But it's a very smooth, very responsive engine. It's quite quiet too. Now it probably was kind of surprised a lot of you out there when you get on this bike, just how nippy it is. But how this bike is set up, it's terrific handling, which I will talk about more later on, but it's such an enjoyable ride. I think many people get on this and just be totally surprised by how well that engine works. And suited in with that steering, this really is a hoot to ride and that engine is great fun. The fuel tank on the SR GT125 is in this tunnel here and it can hold about nine liters, which is quite good for a 125. Now, when it comes to MPG, I don't have exact figures for you, but considering how frugal the engine is in the medley, I think we should expect about 110 miles per gallon or maybe even a little bit more. Working our way back, and the seat here is 799 millimeters high, which is quite average, though because it's a scooter seat, it's slightly wider. So I'm only five foot six, and I'm not flat foot on this. I'm slightly tiptoeing on it, but for most kind of average height riders, I'm sure you'll be fine. Now under the seat, if I just lift that up for you now, we have quite a bit of storage space. Now pretty to say it can handle a full size lid, but in our experience trying our full face helmets here, our HJCs do not fit. So make sure to check that for compatibility with your own. That aside, it's still quite a good storage area. You just wish it would take most standard full faces. There is an option if you want to have a top box on the back, which holds about 33 liters. When we go to the back of the leg shield, we have this small glove box. And to be fair to you, it's not so much a glove box, more of a kind of accessible part for the USB port, but still nice to have it there nonetheless. So yeah, storage wise, there is storage, but there's just not loads of it. And I think you probably will struggle to fit a full face, but do check it for compatibility. The SR GT125 has a double cradle frame and the whole scooter weighs in at 144 kilograms. So it's not the lightest, nor is it the heaviest scooter in this kind of category. Manual handling wise, it's really a doddle to move. 144 kilograms isn't that heavy. 
out on the road, it feels light as a feather. And the rideability in front of this scooter is immense. For a 125cc scooter, you've got to check it out. It really rides quite similar to a motorcycle around the bends or commuting or weaving in between traffic. It really is a hoot. There's a lot of fun to be had with this bike. Matching with that really great iGet engine with this kind of lightweight and maneuverable nature of this scooter, it really is great fun. Now, when we go to the wheel size, at the front here, we have a 14 inch wheel and to the rear, we have a 13 inch wheel and we have Michelin Anarchy tires on both. So overall, I have to say, thanks to that nature of this bike, it's quite tall, very mature, it's very motorbike feeling to it. But just matching that kind of frame, that weight along that engine, it makes a terrifically fun scooter to ride. And it really does help it stand out looks and performance wise in the 125cc category. Moving on to brakes, and at the front here, we have this 260 millimeter wavy braking disc a two piston Nissan caliper. When we go to the rear, we have a 220 millimeter disc. That's a standard one with a two piston caliper as well. Now, an interesting thing to note is that the SRGT125 runs combined braking system, which is the cheap alternative to ABS. Whereas its sibling, the Medley, runs on ABS itself. So it's a bit of a shame that we don't have ABS on this as standard, especially at this price point. Now the brakes themselves, I have to say, are very good indeed. Even the combined braking system on this isn't that bad compared to some out there on the market. It's very good braking. And you could actually become quite reliant on just using the back brake because that back brake brings on the front as well and it really gives good stopping power. However, in my opinion, I'd love to see ABS on this as standard like the 200cc version does. When it comes to suspension at the front here, we have the Showa telescopic forks with 120 millimeters of travel. To the rear, we have the twin shocks with 102 millimeters of travel. And overall, we have 175 millimeters of ground clearance. So yes, it's set up with this adventure crossover styling to it. And I dare say you can take it green laning, but in Aprilia's words themselves, it's an urban adventurer. So it is set up for the road. And I have to say, it's not too firm, it's not too soft. It's just a very friendly, rewarding feeling to ride in this bike. It is a lot of fun, as I've already said in this video. It does a great job of soaking up the lumps and bumps so you don't get jarred or bone rattling at all. And for that, I'm very grateful going around the Norfolk roads on the test on this thing. So yeah, overall, terrific suspension setup, and I think most riders will be pleased. When it comes to technology on the SRGT125, we've already got the aforementioned full LED lighting, which is great. And we've got that black LCD screen with white text, which is large and very well spaced out. Although there's still moments where bright sunlight can make it a slight struggle to read, but overall it's a nice impressive display with a mode button to easily cycle through your options there. We do have start stop technology on this as well, which works very efficiently. You pull up after a couple of seconds, the engine will slowly just tick itself off. And as soon as you pull back on that throttle, it's very responsive to start up again and away you go with minimal disruption. It's a very impressive system. When it comes to looking at competitors of this scooter, there's quite a few out there, such as the NMAX, the PCX, but they're a little bit smaller and cheaper too, about three and a half grand. Whereas this scooter itself is 3,700 for the standard version and 3,800 pounds for the sport one, which admittedly does have the better colorways. But when you look at the slightly bigger bikes compared to this, such as the X-Max 125 or the Forza 125, you're going into the maxi scooter category. So as I say, it's kind of in its own unique area. It's not quite with the N-Max and the PCX, there's a little bit more than that, but then it's not quite at the maxi scooter 125 category either. So it kind of slots itself quite nicely between the two. I think it's going to tempt a lot of people. It's just whether you're on a maxi, or something more set up, completely different than anything else on the market. So what are my final thoughts on the Aprilia SR GT125? Well, for me, there's a couple of negatives. You should fit a full face helmet under that seat, and I think you should have ABS as standard. But aside from that, it is a great scooter. I mean, just look at it. I think it's terrific, and it's one of the best looking 125cc scooters we have on the market in the UK. Aprilia have to be commended here because it's sporty, it's adventurous, yet practical too. And it's a lot of fun to ride. It feels very much like a motorcycle. Whether you're in the town, like I said earlier, or 
or out on the country lanes, you really will have a wicked time riding this thing. At £3,700 starting price, yes, it's not a cheap 125, but the overall package, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So I've properly enjoyed my time on this. For me, you've got to compare it against the likes of the Piaggio Medley, which is the foundation for this. And you have two clear options for me. If you really want something that looks great, sporty and aggressive, you're going to go for the Aprilia. However, if you want more kind of practicality, you want more storage space, you want ABS, then you'll probably go for the more mellow medley. But all in all, I've had a wicked time on the SRGT125. It's a great scooter. Yes, a couple of small compromises, but you cannot deny how great fun this is. So that brings us to an end on this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like. Any comments or questions about the SRGT125 or any recommendations for bikes for us to test, put that in the comments section below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and ding that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.